All right, for problem five on the FEP hydraulics homework, we're looking at um, information around a triangle, basically, and then the definition of side slope and longitudinal slope. So a little different than what you may be asked on the test, but something that should be familiar anyway. So we've got a survey crew chief here who wants to slope chain up a three to one cut slope to find the horizontal distance between two points. If a crew measures a slope distance of 63.25 feet, what is the horizontal distance? Distance. So we can tell by the way that this is written that this is a side slope. And remember that a side slope means run over rise. So we're told that the side slope is 3 to 1. So we can rewrite that as 3 over 1 is going to equal some run over some rise. So we've got that base equation to start with. Now in this case, we're given the slope distance. So we're actually given the distance along the angle. So that's what that means to kind of slope chain up that, up that angle. And so we have the slope distance of 63.25 feet. So we're not being told an X, a, a, a run or a rise in this case. But we are able to figure out some information um, from this um, angle. So one thing we can think about is that this is the triangle that is of interest, but we know that this slope follows this three to one pattern. So if we drew that triangle, just kind of a base similar triangle, so we're going to look at these two similar triangles. Uh, we know that a three to one means that three is our run and one is our rise. So these two triangles are similar to each other. So we can know with these dimensions, um, using our Pythagorean theorem, that uh, remember a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Okay, if we call leg a three and leg b one, we wind up with three squared plus one squared equals some c squared here. Uh, so that becomes 9 plus 1 equals c squared. So c squared is going to equal 10. So c is going to be the square root of 10. So we'll call this leg c our hypotenuse, and we'll know that that's the square root of 10. So now we have two similar triangles that we can write down relationships about. So we can say that on one leg, the run is this unknown, and we'll just call this x since it's in the x direction and this rise is unknown and we'll call that y. So we can say because of similar triangles that x uh, is similar to this three leg. So I'll put three over x and then uh, one is similar to this y leg, one over y. And then we can equate this hypotenuse square root of 10 to our 63.25. And if remember in FEP statics, when we have these similar triangles, we can pick any two of these relationships to set to equal to each other to solve for the variable. We do have two variables here, so we got to get rid of one of these two equations. Really all we're interested in is the horizontal distance, which is the run. So we don't really care about the rise, so we can just cross that guy off and use these two equations and set them equal to each other. So let's rewrite them down here. So 3 over x is equal to the square root of 10 over 63.25. I'm just going to go ahead and cross multiply those. So I get 3 times uh, 63.25 is equal to x times the square root of 10. And if I multiply that out, 3 times 63.25 is going to give me 189.75 is going to be equal to x times the square root of 10, but we'll just divide that square root of 10 by both sides. All right, so we'll wind up with that. And then if we put that into our calculator, we do find that x is equal to 60 feet. All right, so that's going to be the horizontal distance of that 3 to 1 um, slope, side slope, when we know that the uh, slope angle is equal to 63.25 feet.